Hey everybody, Sean coming at you on Tuesday from High Level. I am super excited about this. I was told I wasn't allowed to announce this yesterday, even though it was technically live. Shh, don't tell anybody. Anyways, so I'm announcing it today. Um, we are launching dedicated domains for the new LC email. So this is pretty exciting. So let's just take a step back real quick. So first of all, what the heck is LC email again? That's right, it's our replacement for Mailgun. It's it, it's built on top of Mailgun, but basically it's like high level taking care of email for you. You don't have to deal with it anymore. We sort of take over all of that. Okay, that's great, Sean. Then what the heck is this about? Well, so the ability to send email with a custom domain is just a deliverability thing that helps you do better deliverability. Out of the gate, we measure deliverability. It's awesome, but this just takes it to the next level. So let's dive in real quick. I'll show you kind of how this works works and we can get going. So it, this can be done, I believe, at the domain level, or excuse me, the agency level, as well as the sub account level. But I'm inside the sub account right now. I'm just going to roll over to settings down here, and then I'm going to move my big head out of the way, and then I'm going to find email services. There it is. And then boom, here we are. So you can see here that this one is on uh, Mailgun. If I switched over to Lead Connector, I can I can switch over. And then I can also do a dedicated domain. Um, so now you can see right here, oh, that's only available for LC email customers. So if you have if you see that, that just means you haven't moved over to Lead Connector. You got to do that first. And then once you do that, then you can add a de dedicated domain. So let me um, pause real quick. I'm going to switch over to one of the accounts that already has done this, and I will show you how. Okay, what I meant was I'm going to click that check mark, and then it's going to move me over to Lead Connector for the sub account, which moves that over. Sorry, I knew I knew someone was going to ask that, so I want to get the video on real quick. So now I'm on Lead Connector. Cool. Now I'm going for the dedicated domain. I click this. Now it's like, oh, no dedicated domain found. And there, by the way, there's a bunch of help docs for this. So you know, for the people who say I go too fast, well, I do go too fast, but whatever. I'm still going to do it. Anyway, so now here you go. It's pretty simple. Now you're going to want to put in your domain. Now, real quick, let's say I own Bob.com. Don't put in Bob.com because remember, it, this, the, the main domain at Bob.com probably still go, already goes somewhere like Gmail or Outlook. You can only deliver email to one spot. It's like having two addresses for, for like the same address for two houses doesn't work, right? But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in a subdomain. So you can choose what it is. I don't care. You could be like email dot or mg dot, whatever. But this is what's great about it. It doesn't matter so long as the root domain is the same, that deliverability impact will still be there. It's still, it's still how you wanna do it. So anyways, heads up. So, um, okay, cool. So now what we're gonna do is, it says, look, your domain uh, MG will be moved, da, 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 da. new DNS record will be provided. So what you're gonna do after this is you're gonna go add a DNS entry, okay? So just heads up, we're gonna see that in a second. Now, next. Email warming process. When you start sending through your dedicated domain, the inbox provider will begin calculating domain sending reputation in the first two to four weeks of sending, limiting your email sending, blah, blah, blah. Basically, it's just saying, listen, once you do this, putting it on blast, doing 100,000 list, probably not the brightest idea. You want to start in small batches if you can. Not required, just helps. Anyways, all right. I said mg.bob.com. I'm going to go ahead and hit add and verify. Uh oh. Look at this, it's already configured inside a Mailgun account because I must have done this <laughs> some other time. Let me try like uh, November 29, Bob. That can't be there, right? All right, cool. Add and verify. Da, 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 da. Oh, okay, so here's what's gonna happen, ready? So here's what's happening, check this out. So these are the DNS entries you wanna put, put in. So here's what's important. Um, this is right now the host name that you need to add as a text record, and all this is covered in the help docs, to your DNS. So this could be GoDaddy, it could be Google domains, it doesn't matter. Um, and so that that's just like a normal standard issue thing. So there's there's two text records, a C name, and two MX records. That's it, it's pretty simple to do. I'm not even sitting here and do all this, but then basically the idea is you're gonna hit copy, you're gonna paste it in, you're gonna hit verify domain, and eventually that not verified will say like verified, 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 and you'll be good to go. So anyways, you can do this at the sub uh, account level or you can do it at the agency level. And the difference is you do it at the agency level by default, all the sub accounts will inherit that or you can go into each sub account and do individual ones. That's kind of up to you. So anyways, I will post the, the help docs which are here whoop, and here into the um, notes and all that so you can check them out. But this is great. It's a huge step forward on the LC email uh, uh, service. Super proud of the team. Hope all of you are having an awesome Tuesday and I'll talk to you in another video in just a sec. Thanks.